back to our video series on how to start a business in South Africa. So in our previous session, we discussed how to create a product or service you can sell. If you missed it, just check out the link below this video and don't miss out. So guys, today back in studio, we have our aspiring entrepreneur Zandi, as well as our IMC SA registered business coach Brent, who joins us again to discuss the importance of creating structure for your business. Welcome, Zandi, and welcome, Thank you, to Kelly. Brent. Thank you, Kelly. Awesome. So, Brent, what are the basic startup systems entrepreneurs should have in place when they start their business? That's a very good question. So, one of the problems in entrepreneurship and startup businesses, self-employed businesses, is there's no structure, no order, no control. And you really want to get that in place because otherwise, you're not going to really last long because everything is chaotic and you're burning out because you have to do everything, your working days are 14 to 16 hours. It's fine for the first three months because you're working on your dream, right? But then after that, you really burn out and it's not so much fun anymore. So you really want to dig into three key things. Number one, time management. Number two, create systems. And number three, create a bit of structure in your mind that you really understand what my business consists of. Awesome. So time management, structures, Andy, you got it, you got it? I got it. <laughs> awesome. So you have a question for Brent. What is it? Yes. And Brent, I want to know, what is an example of good time management and how do I view my day-to-day -day business? Sure. So as I said, when you start a business, there's no order, there's no control because why? You are the business. Every business owner that starts a business is the business. And then they don't seem to understand that the business actually consists of five key boxes. Box number one is marketing. Box number two is sales. Box number three is operations. Box number four is legalities. And box number five is management. Now you have to take your day and divide it into these five boxes. Let's say for example you start with a management box. Every morning, 8 to 9, you do management in your business, administration, emails, etc. Then from uh, 9 to 11, you jump into your marketing box. Now you're not the manager anymore, you're now the marketing employee. From 11 to 1, you jump into the sales box. Now you're the sales employee. From, uh, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, you jump into the operations box. Now you deliver the product or the service. And then lastly, you jump back into the management box. And what do you manage? You manage the other boxes for the day. So that's a way to really view your business as an entity on its own with the visions that you need to operate rather than you are the business. Wow, awesome. So really breaking up your day to make sure you have that order control and touch on everything in your business. That's great. So Brent, what other important structures does one need to have in their business to ensure that they stay on track with their vision and their goals? Excellent question. So you have to really dig into what's really important in your business to systemize. Now there's four basic systems that I use with all of my clients that they need to understand. The first system is my planning system. How will I plan my day? my week, my month, and ultimately my year. The second system is the information system. How do I track information on a daily basis to know that every single service and product is in order and control? The third one is then using Google Sheets, which is a free tool available for everybody. It's online, it's free to really track all the, uh, all the, the stuff that's happening in your business that needs tracking. All right, very important. And then lastly, your action and your deliverable system. How will I now take action? What's the steps for the action? And how can I systemize that to deliver my product or my service? Awesome, Brent. I love these practical examples, these free tools. How amazing is this, Andy? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Brent. So if you want that practical guide on how to create structure in your business, sign up for our startup workshop. Sign up today because it's free. It's a free workshop, guys. Get on it. Find the link in the description below. Join us next week where we will touch on compliance and the basic documents needed to start your business in South Africa.